Hey guys, my name is Nicole and today I'm going to show you how to use the auxiliary bank in your all new Ranger. So we're going to show you how to use it, how to plan for it, where all the wires are and what you need to do when you're setting everything up. So I have this Raptor here with some camping lights installed in the tub, so let's check it out. So for those of you that aren't aware, this is the auxiliary bank. So it comes standard in the Raptor, you can option it into your Wild Trek in the Premium Pack and option it into the Sport and the XLT in the Touring Pack. So these are auxiliary switches and they you can connect to these to accessories so you can isolate the power. So there's six switches here so you can set up whatever you would like in them and all the wiring is already in the car and ready to go. First and foremost if you want to know more about what the auxiliary switches are you can find it in your owner's manual on your screen. Six little dots on the top go into your owner's manual, categories, instrument panel and interior, scroll down to auxiliary switches. So there's a brief explanation of what the auxiliary switches are. So this shows you where the auxiliary switches are in a brief little diagram. With the auxiliary switches you get wiring that goes all the way to the back, you get two back there. These are labelled your camping lights and your compressor. You can of course use them for whatever you'd like, but that's what they're labelled in the car. You've also got two that will go to the front and two that will do the um, spotlights as well. So you can see position A is where your six wire location is, B is your switch one, two and five wire locations are, and C is where your three and four location are. So on your next page you'll see that this shows your diagram of how to identify all the auxiliary switch wiring. So it will tell you what the color is, the wire size, the fuse rating as well. When you get down to five and six you will see that they are specially designed for driving lamps. They've got a higher fuse, they've got a larger wire size as well. So these are designed to take on the on more high power lights. Cool. So as you can see up here as you turn on all the auxiliary switches they start to light up. Now number five and six haven't lit up here because they are connected to your driving lamps and they won't turn on until you turn your brighties on because it is illegal to have the spotlights on without your brighties on. So if I turned them on, all of that would light up for you. But as you turn them off, you can see that the lights go off and that's isolating that power. We have our camping lights set to number three here. So if I turn the brighties on here, you can see the auxiliary five and switch have now lit up and if I had driving lights connected to this car they would also be on. Yeah. Flicking the brighties on and off here you can see that the light is turning on and off in the auxiliary switches. So a lot of people have asked the question can you label your auxiliary switches so it doesn't look like you can because they are backlit so if you put a sticker over it, it would probably look a little bit awkward and not as neat as having just the numbers on there. We have had a couple of people ask as well if they can set the zone lighting up to the auxiliary switches. Unfortunately, this isn't possible. The zone lighting is on its own separate wiring, so it will connect to your screen and it will also connect to Ford Pass on your phone. So it won't ever be able to connect to those auxiliary switches. If you have a look in the tub here of our Raptor, you can see that we have installed camping lights. We have steady LED lights on the back that are the amber color, because if you are going camping, the amber color won't attract the flies as much as anyone that's camping would prefer that color. To turn these ones on you do have to have the car in accessory mode. To do that one without putting your foot on the brake press that start button it won't start up the engine it will only start the accessories inside and outside the car. Yeah. To wire these ones up all we had to do was take the wiring of them run it underneath the car. It was really really easy because all the wiring that we needed was all labeled and ready to go so we pulled the wires down that we needed and then the wires to these lights connected. While we were wiring up the camping lights we saw the label that said the compressor so we started thinking would a compressor fit underneath the tub of a Ranger? Now because the Raptor doesn't have the box step on its tub there is a really big cavity underneath the tub so we think that that would be perfect placement for your compressor which means that's probably why they labeled it compressor. Looking under the hood you've got your fuse box just here so you can open that one up and you've got a relayed fuse box all wired up and ready to go. And just under here we've got some of the wiring here for the auxiliary switches already fused and ready to wire up. If you have any more questions please leave them below in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to st and stay tuned for our next video.